Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So, this is the Angular series. In the previous video, we have discussed all the basic concept of the Angular. In this video, I am going to cover how we can consume the third party API in Angular. Okay, so if you are new to the Angular, please watch all those videos and then in this video, we are going to consume the third party API. So, first of all, let me try to create one Angular project and then after that, we'll try to create one component and in that component, we'll try to call the third party API. So let me go to the folder structure. Let me open a command prompt here. Let me create one Angular application here. So the command to create the Angular application is ng new and then project name. So let's say the project is rest angular. Okay just enter it would you like to add angular routing let's say no which style set format would you like to use let's say css okay so it started installing the packages just wait for few seconds so it will create our application so yeah you can see our application is created now so what I need to do I need to go inside the application so let me try to go inside this so the application that we have created is rest angular something like that so let me go inside this and now let me try to up our application so the command for that is uh, ng serve minus minus open so before that let me try to open this whole project in the visual studio code so let me try to open it so you need to run the command code space dot it will open up your whole project inside the visual studio okay and from here also we can open the terminal and run those commands so let me try to close this command prompt now okay now we are inside the visual studio code we have opened our application here let me go to the source app and you can see we have created this application okay now let me open the terminal here okay so first of all let me try to make our application up so the command for that is ng serve minus minus open so it will make our application up on the port number 4200 okay let's say no so it will take few seconds to build our application and then it will try to host our application on the local port number uh, 4200 okay so you can see this Right now, let me try to go to the Visual Studio. Let me try to remove unnecessary codes. So let me try to remove everything from the app.component.html. So control A and then remove it just save it. Now let me go here. So you can see everything is removed now. Now let me come and let me go to the component dot ts file okay so let me try to print the title so let me come here let me use the h1 tag and inside that let me print the title save it now go to the browser you can see our title is being printed here now let me try to change the title first let's say it's engineering and, and save it okay good so what we did we created one application and uh, our application is working fine and it is up on the port number 4200 now I'm just going to create one custom component and then we'll try to call our third-party API so let me try to stop this application okay and then create one component so 
the command for that is ng generate component and then component name so let's say the component name is rest okay so you can see we have created one component called rest okay now let me try to go inside the rest component dot ts okay and uh, inside the html it is it's rest works okay so so first of all let me try to call our child component rest inside our main component so let me come here so this is the selector we need to copy this come to the app component dot html and let me try to call it here and just save it now let me go to the browser okay so we need to make our application up okay wait for a few seconds yeah so you can see we are able to see this text rest works so we are good now so we are able to call our child component inside the main component okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, import the http client and then with the help of that we'll try to call the third party api so let me try to show you which third party api we are going to call so it is json placeholder so let me try to come here okay so you need to go to the json placeholder uh, website and then you will go down and they are providing some free apis here so you can see in the resource you can go to the post they have uh, this free apis okay and then they are returning the list of posts okay they are returning the 100 post here so we'll try to consume this api okay so copy this api or let it be now let me go to the visual studio and uh, let me go to the rest component and here let me try to create the constructor first so constructor okay now what i will do i will try to Im inject the http client here so let's say http client and uh, we'll try to inject the http client okay let me try to import this okay so sorry yeah let me try to import this okay it is not coming here let me try to copy this import statement and then paste it downside and we need to import the http client so http client okay it is from angular common http so common slash http so just save this now we are good so what we did we just uh, created one constructor and then we injected the http client here okay now with the help of uh, this variable we'll try to call the third party api so let's say this dot http client or let me try to create a response here so let's say let response is equal to http client dot get and then we'll try to get the post so let me try to copy the link copy it from here now go to the visual studio and just paste it okay so we are able to uh, call the api and we are able to store the response from the api inside this response variable so what we need to do we need to uh, console log this response so let me try to do that so response dot subscribe and uh, let 
me try to get the data and then we'll try to log this so console dot log data let me try to remove this errors okay and then save this so just save it let me try to remove this so we are good what we did we created one variable http client and then we injected the http client in the constructor we imported the http client and then with the help of the variable we are try to call the third party api and then restore that response inside a variable called response and then we are subscribing it and then we are just simply logging the data okay now before uh, going to run this application what i need to do we need to in import the http client module inside the app module.ts so let me come here let me try to import that http client module okay let me try to import this class here so yeah you can see we have imported the http client module so we are good now let me try to save this go to the rest component dot ts save it and then we are good now let me try to make this application up so let me try to save this so application is already up so i just save it and now let me go to the browser and let me try to refresh this okay and let me try to show you the console so you can right click and go to the inspect and inside the console you can see we have the array and its uh, size is 100 and inside this third party api also you can see we have the 100 elements here okay so you can see the id is 100 till 100 we have the post inside this third party api so let me go to the console okay and let me try to open this up so you can see we are able to consume the api here and we are able to see all those object from the apis so this is about this video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content